Hey guys, Jengar here. Today we are going to fly out the Super Fortress, the B29, and we're gonna fly it out in realistic battle. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. We are in the B29 Super Fortress and we are running with 40 500 pound bombs and we are on the way to the first target we are actually the only bomber in this match <laughs> now that doesn't happen a lot in American teams usually you will have four B-29s running around so we're approaching the first target we're dropping seven bombs and we have a second target very close by now this is something I remember from another match that it needs seven 500 uh, pounders to uh, get these bases out of the way. <laughs> now let's see if I remember correctly right. We are in a semi jet match. There are jets so we're going to have to be careful here as we go towards the third base. We have 5000 meter altitude so that is pretty good for most of the stuff but if there's for example uh, but there could be some climbers on the way maybe a ta here and there or something and they start with an attack or spawn so it could be possible that they reach us pretty soon but this bomb load is second to none except the TU4 which has even better bomb load we have a 190 on our left there doing he's running parallel more or less let's hope he doesn't come straight for us I see some other dots coming up there but we are gonna concentrate on the third target first we've got the second base as well and we're running pretty good now the B29 is pretty fast for such a big bomber it can even climb reasonably with a speed of 300 you're, you're, you can still gain altitude and hold your speed you can even climb and still gain uh, speed which is fantastic now we uh, run with 7 bombs on all 3 targets that uh, left us with 19 bombs and we have a HO 229 and an ME 262 right below us kilometer and a bit they should be very slow though because of the climbing so they can't really get up to us immediately and when they do there yeah there's the ME262 and if and when they do we have our gunners to protect ourselves of course the plane handles pretty nicely it is of course not maneuverable but for such a huge plane the plane uh, listens to the controls very nicely I have to say Now we are now approaching the airfield and we're going into the bombardiers view again for our final approach on the airfield. The now if I would have had a second B-29 or a third B-29 we could have won this match easily. That's of course the problem of these big bombers. But uh, no, I'm the only one this time, so <laughs> that is not going to happen. And we're getting the hell out of here. As we have these two guys within two kilometers, we're going to try to put our nose towards our airfield. And then run the plane straight. And uh, you can't dive away with this plane. You have to rely on the gunners. That's what our goal is. Straighten out the plane and then go into gunner view. And start peppering them as they come close. Maneuvering with the plane is not an option against this plane. You'll be ripped to pieces, of course. And diving away isn't an option either, as the top speed in a dive of this plane is not too great before it redlines. And if you put this plane under too much structural stress, then of course it will rip to pieces as well which is not very nice <laughs> it's not nice at all but it's not called the super fortress for nothing it has a lot of 50 cals in defensive armaments and there's very few uh, dead corners in this uh, in the fire arcs 
Here comes the whole 229. We do get some hits in on our inner right engine. We do get some hits in on him though. As he's smoking right now. Trying to find the right lead is always problematic with these things. But you can and I'm getting a lot of hits on these planes as we go. There's a hit on the 229 and we've got him smoking as well. Oil leak on both of these planes. But we want them dead obviously. I'm running out of bullets here. The reloads are pretty nice. I'm still upgrading the plane. I don't. I'm working on engine injection right now. But I do have most other flight performance modules. Here we go again. We, we are back in business. As he's coming up. We've got the right lead. We've got a crit on the right wing as he passes over us. And we couldn't keep the right lead going there. He's turning back in for a shot there. Uh, what's going on with the Ho? The Ho 229 is shut down by a Tempest there. I should have gotten an assist on that by the way. I got several hits on that guy. Got nothing though. And there we do get the kill on the ME262A. That is great. <laughs> Very nice. Got a kill. Very successful bombing run with the kill. That's good. We've got plenty of uh, enemies left. And now we've got to get this beast down. We are on 6500 meters. And getting the plane down to the airfield is a huge task. Uh, it took me about four and a half minutes, I believe, to get down from that altitude. Let's keep the pressure on. And uh, we finally have arrived at the airfield. I made pretty tight loops, uh, turns, and then uh, we're in a downward spiral, more or less. Huge plane, you've got to be careful when you... Uh, when you go into the uh, altitude dropping part of, of such a circle, you, you can pick up speed pretty nice. 70, 470, 480, 490. And then you hear that, that sound of the air that you're going too fast already. So here we are, nice smooth touchdown as we landed the plane. And we're trying to slow it down. Got the Tempest uh, on the deck here as well that uh, shot down the whole 229 that was also on me. Could've gotten an assist for that. <laughs> Bloody hell. Huge uh, flaps on this thing. And we made it to a standstill. Now what is a, a big benefit of this plane is that after you uh, rearm and repair you get a an air spawn very beneficial you're right back into the action don't have to take this thing off the ground which would be uh, quite a task I think on most of the airfields you maybe you wouldn't even be able to get this thing off the ground I think haven't tried though but we still have four enemy fighters left of course you don't spawn at 4000 uh, meters again on uh, just a few hundred meters so we have been climbing since, and look at that, we're climbing and we are 300 kilometers an hour, but we had a, a MiG-9 that was doing ground targets. So 8.7 tons of bombs on target, one air kill and one ground target destroyed in this match, which gave a nice reflection of this plane. We had 125,000 Silver Lions, 7100 research points. And uh, we got, uh, what was it that we were running again? One match is, what is that? I don't know that way, but we did it. <laughs> we won the match. One kill as well. Second place in the team. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now, this plane is uh, nice to fly. It's, it's, a, it's a strong bomber. It, it, has, it can take some damage. It is reasonable on the controls. The plane responds very well for such a huge plane. Of course it's not maneuverable and if you do get attacked your only defense is the defensive armament which is quite good and for the rest you've got to make sure that you take good approach angles so that you won't run into trouble too early. The plane is capable of killing all three bases and then still dropping half its load 
on the airfield after you kill all the three bases like you, you saw in the video if you're lucky and you're the only bomber in the match you can do tons of damage if you have three or four in the match you can end the match before it even begins which is a problem but that's how it is right now Gaijin needs to look at that and see if they can increase base and airfield health to make for longer matches although in RB is not such a big problem as they limited the number of bombers to four and uh, often there is still the possibility to shoot one or two down so that's quite all right as to the bomb loads which is often one of the more important things on these things you start off with 20 times 500 pounds then you get the 40 times 500 pounds which is what i have run and then you can go to 18 times 1000 or 8 times 2000. Nice options in these bomb loads. I still haven't got it paid that I'm working on engine injection. But even now the plane is very good, enjoyable to fly. It's a great looking plane as well. You can see where the TU4 got its beauty from. <laughs> Re-engineered, right? But uh, these things are both wonderful planes and big problems to the game right now. Especially in AB where the bomber spam is real and a potential killer for the game actually. But uh, in RB these planes are uh, not as much of a problem at the moment. But uh, Gaijin needs to work on solving the issues that these planes present. Guys I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.